This is what a record-breaking streak of spare the air alerts in the Bay Area looks like. And now two researchers out of Stanford University say all that soot in the air could result in 1,200 extra deaths and 4,800 ER visits in California from August 1st to September 15. We're not measuring fatality rates in real time. We're saying we know how much it worse the air quality got. Yeah. We know based on 20 years of Medicare data, if you change the air quality that much, how many more deaths do we normally get? And so it's just the combination of those two numbers. You'd never see it, of course, just looking at these hazy skies, but scientists are most worried about what hangs in that air, a kind of pollution that's especially deadly. PM 2.5, or particulate matter, less than 2.5 microns in size. Stanford researchers based their findings on how an increase in PM 2.5 would affect the 6 million in California who are age 65 and over. That's why they say 1,200 deaths is actually on the low side of their estimate. My hope is that uh, we are attentive to all the bad things that happen when we get these wildfire smoke events. ER doctor Robin Barrell says he's not surprised by the Stanford calculation, considering what he saw in his own hospital during last month's persistent poor air quality. As the poor smoke and air quality stayed with us in our environment, then we started to see the numbers rise of people with the coughs, shortness of breath, exacerbation of their chronic lung conditions. Stanford researcher Marshall Burke hopes the numbers will drive home the point to take poor air quality seriously and to help those who are most vulnerable. These events have much, much larger costs than I think we typically realize. The morbidity, the effects on those people, they're lingering. We're not going to know the final uh, impact on our society for quite some time.